Hi everybody, today's focus I am testing essential oils. I'm going to see if some common essential oils can inhibit the growth of bacteria on a petri dish. I'll be testing lavender, thyme, frankincense, and oregano. A couple of months ago, I recorded a video where I tested some essential oils to see if they could inhibit the growth of bacteria on a petri dish. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. And since then, I've had a handful of viewers request that I test some more essential oils. I've gotten requests from L. Rach, Glowing Light 11, Turk Dubstep, Dylan, and Growing a Cleaner World. From those suggestions, I decided to test lavender, frankincense, oregano, and thyme. In order to see if these essential oils can inhibit the growth of bacteria, I'm going to smear some petri dishes with bacteria from my kitchen sink and my toilet bowl. I'll place drops of each essential oil on the petri dish and wait to see if there's any growth there or any inhibition of growth. So let's see how well lavender, frankincense, thyme, and oregano inhibit bacteria on the petri dishes. Now for some results. Let's look at the kitchen sink bacteria, frankincense and lavender. So let's look at the side of the dish that has the frankincense drop. I'm not seeing any uh, decrease in bacteria in the area in which the frankincense drop was placed. Moving over to the side with the lavender drop, we can most certainly see a clearing right where I placed the drop of lavender. So looking at this dish, frankincense didn't inhibit the growth of bacteria, but lavender did. The toilet bowl bacteria. Looking at the side with the drop from frankincense, again, I'm not seeing much of a difference there. It's possible that there's a tiny decrease in bacteria in that area that I placed the drop, but I'm not seeing anything hugely significant. In the section with the lavender drop, we see a clearing right where the drop was placed. So again, I'm seeing that lavender is inhibiting the growth of bacteria. Next, let's look at oregano and thyme for my kitchen sink bacteria. Looking at the section where the oregano drop was placed, we can see a huge clearing of bacteria around it. Now the good thing is that we see in our control section labeled C, there's a lot of bacteria there. So we know that the Petri dish definitely had bacteria smeared all over it, just that the oregano drop seemed to inhibit the growth of bacteria on that side of the plate. We see a similar result with the thyme. 
The thyme also seemed to inhibit bacterial growth on the petri dish. Looking at the bacteria from my toilet bowl, we see similar results as we did with the kitchen sink. The oregano seemed to inhibit a tremendous amount of bacteria. We do see a little bit on that side of the plate. We definitely see some in the control, which is good. And in the section of the thyme, there's no bacteria growing there at all. So the oregano and thyme did a great job at stopping bacteria from growing in the petri dish. This was an interesting test for me to conduct. I really enjoy seeing which essential oils are able to stop the growth of bacteria and which ones just can't. So in this case, we saw frankincense really didn't do anything at all to stop the growth of bacteria. We saw lavender stop the growth right around the area that I placed the drop. And we saw oregano and thyme inhibit the growth of bacteria on their entire side of their petri dish. If videos like this interest you, I did conduct a similar style test um, for grapefruit seed extract and colloidal silver. I'll put a link to that in the description below. This test was different from the way I usually conduct my cleaning testing. Normally what I do is I'll take a cleaning product and I'll swab an area in my home before and after using a cleaning product to see if it actually can remove bacteria. In this case, I was just seeing if these essential oils could stop the growth of bacteria. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. I do have a very long list. It's probably about 250 suggestions long, but I'm doing my best to get through them. Or you can buy me something from my Amazon wish list. That's in the description or mail me something. My mailbox address is also in the description. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's in the description also <laughs> before you mail me something so that I know it is from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.